Science is extremely valuable and very important. So, so again, please don't hear any of this as dismissing science. It's absolutely critical. But it is not what makes healthcare human. It is not what makes us human. So for me, we have to know that we have to go back to who we most fundamentally are as people and why we came into healthcare in the first place. And remember that, literally remember that. Bring it back to us. It's about people, relationships, community, and meaning. So what would that difference make if we really got the difference between, between seeing practice through the logic of science and the logic of practice, we would see how important it is to make time to talk together. I think, for me, and I think for, I hear many other people say this, that taking the time at conferences like this, the Educator Pathway, uh, opportunities where we have a moment in our day to talk together about things that matter. We don't, I don't know how to do this without double negatives, it's, we, we cannot not have time for that. We must have time for that because when we don't, everything falls apart. Everything falls apart if there isn't time in the day to reflect. Telling stories as you did animated immediately the conversation. It, the drawings, I think, were quite powerful in a way that I wasn't expecting, quite frankly. So that was, a, that was kind of a surprise to me. Um, but it didn't start very easily. Right? It, you, there were a number of people who struggled to start with the drawing, with the depiction, with the representation of practice. But talking about our stories, that's powerful. Stories take us from one theoretical position to another. That's how theory and practice are connected. Stories take us from one theoretical position to another. Stories do that. Experience does that. Reflection does that. Embodied practice does that. It isn't that a theory starts in science and is translated line in a linear way to practice. Practice <coughs> takes us from one theoretical position to another. If we really understood what difference it makes to think this way, I think we would make sense together of what it is that we are doing and why. That would be such an important focus of our work together. Not what do we need to do. Not what do we need to do to discharge Mrs. So-and-so and Mr. So-and-so. Not what are the 17 things on our list. But what's happening in our unit? What's happening in our office? What's happening in our work? Let's make sense of our work together in a way that allows practice, reflection on practice, to move us from one theoretical position to another. Theory and practice are part and parcel of the same dynamic, not separate, not linear, if we really took this seriously. We don't have time not to do this, in my view. You know, the airline industry, always put your own oxygen mask on before you help others. It's, 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 it's become an overused metaphor, but it's still a really important metaphor. We need to take care of ourselves in order to take care of the patients. We need to take care of each other. So contained in the care envelope is not just patients and their families, but all people who are interdependently connected in our workplaces. That includes patients, families, staff, visitors, volunteers, contract workers, people who come in by accident, and people who lay on the warm manhole covers outside our institutions. We are all connected, and we all have to take care of that whole package. I think we are at risk in this technological age of losing sight of that. We are a storied and a storytelling people. That's who we are. And we have to find ways, I think, of living in that envelope and being there.